Hi guys. Yeah, this is Linda and these are the hands that you usually see in my videos. Um, this weekend on the 19th and 20th of October, uh, the, there were some creators on YouTube who um, made a diapathon or a DPSon, something like that. And it was amazing. It was great fun. Uh, I got to meet new creators. I found new uh, channels to subscribe to and to explore. So thanks everyone for that. And thanks for all my new subscribers who wanted to take a look at my channel. Anyway. I actually got a question about my uh, YouTube name. It's Linda's 144 Hobbies. And well, when I created the name, I never thought that it would, you know, cause any kind of attention, uh, you know, the number 144. Uh, I just wanted to make a name that didn't, um, how can you say, um, well, a name that was open to have more than one uh, hobby. And <clears throat> I could have just chosen uh, a name, Linda's Mini Crafts or Linda's Crafting Channel channel or something like that but I actually think that there's quite a lot of people who, who uses that uh, word um, so I wanted to do something a little bit different so do I have 144 hobbies in total no I don't but I actually think my husband thinks that I have 144 hobbies, but no, I don't. But I do have many, and I think I'm like most of uh, people, the creative people. Um, you stick to a hobby for a period of time, and then, you know, you kind of get bored of that or something, and you go to the next hobby, and you're caught up with that for a period of time. Or... Uh, as for me, I find a new hobby and try that out for a period of time. And then maybe I miss one of my old hobbies and I go back to that. Anyway, so... Usually they say when you make a YouTube channel, you try to... You should try to keep that channel to one subject. And... It's, it's kind of hard because that's not me. I have a lot of different interests. And I didn't want to have a channel for each subject. So why did I choose 144? Not hobbies, but why did I choose that number? Well, I love The Lord of the Rings. And I've read that book a few times. And in my teenage years, I went through a di difficult period in life. And I think a lot of us do. And anyway, uh, I was introduced to the Lord of the Rings and the world of fantasy, which helped me escape reality uh, and cope with everyday life. And as you all know, in the be beginning of this story... There are two hobbits. Hobbits. It's Frodo and Bilbo, and they're having a big birthday party. And Bilbo, he's turning 111 years, and Frodo, he turns 33. And together, they're celebrating 144 years. Yes. And that is why I picked that number, because I hold that story very dearly. And I wanted to have my channel open for many hobbies in 
you know, not just crafting or anything. I am a hiker too, and I love hiking videos, and I want to create more on my own. So it's not just a creative channel. I'm open for, <laughs> for everything, uh, you know, um, any hobby. And yeah, so that is why my channel is called Linda's 144 Hobbies. <laughs> Thanks for the question and thanks for su subscribing and for watching. Bye guys.